Like whenever you're going through a struggle or like you're a hard moment, I always tell my friends this, it's just gonna be a really good chapter in your book. Every book has conflict. No one's gonna read a book about someone who didn't go through nothing the whole time. How good is your book gonna be? Your failures, shortcomings, and challenges can either be your excuses or your story. Joshua Metcalf from the book Chop Wood, Carry Water. You read that book? Yes, I did. I like that. It's a great book, honestly. I definitely recommend it if you guys haven't read it. Chop Wood, Carry Water. I'm going to go through it one more time, and then I'll say what it means to me, and then I would love to get you guys' perspective on it. Absolutely. Your failures, shortcomings, and challenges can either be your excuses or your story. Joshua Metcalf. So, after reading that, and, like, what that really means to me is exactly what it is. Is that, like, I always say this all the time. Is that, like, whenever you're going through a struggle or, like, an adverse or adversity or a hard moment, I always tell my friends this. To put it in perspective, hey, man, it's just going to be a really good chapter in your book. Because think about it. Every book has conflict. No one's going to read a book about someone who didn't go through nothing the whole time. And you said earlier, every person who's been successful goes through struggles. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I got expelled from college, like... That shit could have been world ending to me. But now, honestly, this is just a funny story I tell people. Like, that's like my colleague's social story. This is, a, this is a funny story, bro. Like, that has, this is shit that happened in the past now. And if I were to write a book, nigga, that'd be a dope chapter. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, like, everything that you go through in life, it happens for a reason. And it really builds character. How good is your book going to be? If anybody else has something to say about that, I'd love to hear. I like that. I feel like uh, I take that similar to you. And then um, I don't know if you ever heard of or you seen the video of the guy that said he you're lying on your deathbed surrounded by all of your that's Denzel yeah oh that's the same Denzel Washington oh. yeah but um when he said that that's that's like the same thing you know I feel like you you can either be faced with the decisions of not doing something and then deal with the consequences of it later or you can get up and push through it. And then deal with the success that you get from that. You know what I mean? But yeah, nothing that's that's what I take from that. Corn. What? So like nothing comes from corn but corn. It's so like nothing comes. Basically, from- basically what y'all said, but shorter. I just shortened it. Like I read in a book the other day, it said nothing comes from uh, from corn but corn. I so know. basically, like what you do, like affects what. Type shit. Oh, okay, so you're saying like if you just do negativity, only negative shit's gonna come from it. Mm-hmm. If you do positivity, right, so, right. So if you just be corny, you're just gonna be corny. Right. If you just be happy, then you're just gonna be happy. If you just be sad, then you're just gonna be sad. I like that. If I you're like sad, that. you're gonna do the sad shit. If you do I sad like shit, that. you're gonna be sad. You know what I'm saying? That ass. I was watching The Sopranos. That ass today. I should read this book if I get a chance. What is it? As as a man thinketh. Okay, book recommendations. So we've gotten two book recommendations. Oh, I got another one. Oh, you got a quote oh. from your dog? No, I got another book. Oh, and I was doing it. When was the last time you read a book? I've been money. I don't read. <laughs> if you read books, you can make more money. Oh, that's a good one. That's a you good one. Books make some more money, bro. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to read, bro. I'm getting in my bag, man. But I need to get. I don't know. I'm saying I'm just so fucked up right now. Read that book. It'll be shit. I'm so right, fucked up. Really I mean, I'm not. You're right. I'm not. I'm overreacting, bro. Overreacting. And I feel like my job is just like it really comes down. I just need to quit my job, bro. Oh my god, that's. I feel like do it. Do what. Do what you gotta do. But I feel like a failure. Know, know when you gotta do it. You, you know what I'm saying. But I feel like a failure, bro. It's worth time. You're not as long as you have a job, ready. You're not a failure, bro. You're good. Not if you left with a skill. Sure. I left with a great skill. Sure, Multiple. Good. A lot of good skills. So I learned a lot. Else. A failure is somebody that cannot can no longer succeed. You know what I'm saying? So it's someone who's dead. Yeah. That's another good quote. Victor victims are people who's dead. Victims are people who are dead. Be a victor. I hear that. I hear that. Don't don't get defeated by your losses. You know what I'm saying? Win through. Fall down nine. Get up ten. Nigga, what's mm-hmm. up? I like that. I like that. See, yeah, it got me all motivated. Then I'm gonna go home and be like, "Fuck." <laughs> yeah, for real.